Today we'll be designing this church flyer in color draw. So this will be one of the simplest flyer you've ever seen on this channel. It's going to be very easy and simple to design. All right. For those of you who are joining us for the first time, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And without even any further ado, let's jump straight to the video. So coming over here, guys, these are all the backgrounds we're going to make use of. All right. Church logo and text. And I think that's basically what we're going to make use of in this tutorial. So coming over here, guys, these are the text we'll be making use of. And over here, I put out the names of the fonts I used for this design and without any further ado let's jump straight to Corel Draw. welcome to Corel Draw, guys so this is what you're going to see and for those of you who are using um 2017 2018 2019 version this process is going to be the same just locate where your tools are and make use of them you can follow up with photoshop not i don't do photoshop tutorials on this channel but you can follow up the design with photoshop see you guys all right so watch to the very end so you understand every bit of step by step i took to design this flyer all right so right about that what we're going to do is change our paper size and the size we'll be making use of is 10 by 10 inches so to change your size if you're following my design always you will understand how to do all these basic things and it's not going to be hard for you so right about that locate your property bar and this is your property bar and make sure your units is on inches and come over to uh, the page dimension and change to uh, 10 by 10 put 10 up and 10 down 10 up and 10 down all right then press enter on your keyboard and this is what you're going to have so basically um come over to this rectangle tool double click on it once you double click on the rectangle tool it will bring itself here for those of you who are using the lower version which doesn't warrant that basically what you're going to do you know how to basically um get a rectangle tool over here so just do that and make sure you get a rectangle tool to get your design done all right so come about this playlist and remove this black stroke basically you always see a black stroke and some of you always find it difficult to you know um, remove this so always come about to this and um, remove this black stroke and make sure you get this just right this way so the next thing we're going to do is import our stock images for this tutorial so to do that come over to file and select import shortcut is control plus i so we've been doing this process if you press command i or control i on your keyboard it's going to bring out import for you so basically come over to where your files are saved and select all of this if you basically don't understand um please drop me a comment in the comment section below for those of you who are using phone to design follow the same process anything you're using just process all right so now the next thing we're going to do is uh, i'm going to bring in this background right click on it and select power clip and place it into this frame if you don't understand i'm going to redo that again i know a lot of you always eat and forget yourself now right click you can see power clip inside an arrow is going to come up asking you where do you want me power clip me in, into so select the rectangle tool and just click it will take itself into the frame now right click again and select edit power clip reason because we cannot touch this so we have to go into the frame all right or you can use your alt to get it but for those of you who are newbies like us beginners like us always find it difficult so that's why i explain deeply for you to understand now right click and select edit power clip so we can see what we power clipped inside now we can assess the power clip but we cannot assess this can see it has turned to white or something else now basically what you're going to do is you're going to just scale this up this way all right so scale this up and put it in the middle then select your transparency to reduce the opacity this way so once you reduce i just want that to be just small not showing something going on to the background you can use um 57 pixels and click on finish that is what you're going to have guys so now i'm going to bring in this image and i'm going to scale this up this way and uh, now i'm going to just select my shape to drag over here why am i dragging you can see see the line look at our frame look at where this image is going so drag and take it inside now right about that do the same with this one and basically leave that to that so you're going to just scale this one up a little bit and leave that to that now the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to bring in my text so i'm going to copy from here 
Control C to copy, Control V to paste, Command C to copy, Command V to paste. So select your text tool, Control V, give it a white color so you can see properly. For those of us who are newbies, cut this using Control plus X and give it a black word, black color. But this color is not deep, so come over to your color thumbnail over here. Or you can use F11 to get this edit view. Now select your color viewer, then change this to RGB because it's going to be social media um, flyer, not printed. Then drag this node to the very end of the left end of the, the color view. Now click on OK to get a perfect black. Now the font I'll be making use of this, like I said, I've written out all the fonts for you guys. I'm going to be using this font called Aton. Now, if you don't have this font, basically go to um, go, use the name and go and download it. Now, I'm going to break this apart, break this apart this way, break this apart, then use highlight everything using Ctrl plus A. Now, use Shift F3 on your keyboard to change it to uppercase. Uppercase simply means capital letter. You can see we have sentence case, we have lower case, we have uppercase, we have title case, we have total case. So they are they have their different use you can explore that later on all right and you know so that is it guys so now you can use Control plus k or command k to break this apart so right about that what you're going to do is i'm going to just bring this one here scale this up this way and once you scale it up bring in this guy scale it up this way once you scale it up bring this one down a bit so we're going to manipulate this this but we're going to just drag this one down for now so once we drag it first of all leave that over there and we're going to manipulate this text but make sure this is aligned properly here and that is it so let's bring in our ruler and see where we are so you can see we have spacing left so we're going to just drag this one this way and that is it that is it guys so now i'm going to select the time right click on it right click on the text right click on it let me right click over here so you understand right click sorry i think i shifted something right click on the text then you see convert to curve the shortcut is Control plus q for doubting thomas like us you can see it is written over here now um you can see your shape tool over here i told you guys in my last video i said if you convert anything to curve it's now an object and you can use your shape tool to manipulate any object the way you want you can either choose to manipulate it this way this way or this way but that's not why we're here select the down part of this and um, drag this one over here once you do that bring in this guy put it here um, scale it up this way then select this one bring it down a bit and leave that to that make sure this is aligned properly now you can remove your ruler and uh, bring in this guy and uh, basically scale it up this way then bring in this guy scale it up again so now you can be wondering why am i putting the text on the lady so you're gonna just basically select this select your shape to so let's reduce this one this way now use come and uh, shift page up to bring it forward so that the text will be behind the lady not on her all right now we're going to change we're going to um let's use our eyedropper to pick a color from here uh let's pick this color first of all let's give this color to this all right so let's give it this color and um select all of it and come over to your color thumbnail over here and basically we can just play around this and i want to make this one dark so bring this one make it dark very dark all right can make it as dark as this and uh, leave that that for now let's click on okay now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to basically the beauty of this design is going to be the light flake all right but before then select this image go to bitmap select mode select change it to grayscale grayscale simply means black and white now come over to um effect select adjust select you can use if you see brightness and contrast select it if you see image adjustment lab select it depending on the version you're using now you can see the image so you can use your contrast increase the contrast to maybe 37 brightness to 26 and click on okay and this is basically what you're going to have 
And the next thing we're going to do is um, bring in this light flay. It's behind you, so you shift page up to bring it forward. Now select your transparency tool. This is very important. Select your transparency tool. Go to your mesh mode and select screen. Now leave that to that. So bring this one just here. Scale it up. This way, scale it up. All right. So you can see there's something going out of this place. So select your shape tool to see it. Now you can bring this one in here to make sure it's aligned properly. Now drag another one, place it just right here. All right, so uh, select your shape tool and bring it inside so it doesn't distort anything. Now bring another one and place it just right here. Like I told you, this design is very simple. We're making just use of light flay to get some basic sweet designs. Now I'm gonna bring another one here. All right, so basically, that's what we're going to have for now. Let me put one to the hand, but I think we're going to just make use of this one. All right. So that is good. That is good. That is good. Now I'm going to select my rectangle tool and draw a box just right here, giving it a white color and make sure the um, stroke is removed. I'm going to select my transparency to feather dust. So it's going to review. I told you guys transparency is either used to review or hide. So I'm going to select the white part and hide this or reveal this part a bit. So I'm going to just take this one up this way. And that's basically what I'm going to have. So the next thing I'm going to do is this program is going to be every Thursday. But before then, let's bring our logo. Let's extract this logo. Uh, we can change the color, guys. So we we'll have to extract. Go to bitmap. Convert to bitmap. Combine to bitmap, make sure your color model is on RGB. All right, send. So come over to trace bitmap, outline trace, line art, and wait for that to load. But before it's loaded, please subscribe. So over here, guys, you guys always watch my video halfway and come and be asking me questions. It doesn't make sense. Watch and understand. Now you can see the before, you can see the after, and then click on OK over here and um, basically remove and delete the one you don't have. So bring this one here bring this one here delete this delete this delete this and uh, basically we're gonna leave that as black as that so so we're gonna just reduce this place it just to the middle make sure it's on the middle and bring it down a little bit bring it down a little bit and that's basically what we're gonna have so we're gonna cut this one which is every Thursday every Thursday we're gonna give it a black color so the font we'll be making use of this is called autograph so I'm gonna just autograph this is it and I'm gonna place it just right here and um, basically scale it up this way this is every Thursday and leave that to that you can just leave that as big as that now if you have other address any other thing you can just copy that Put it over here now change the font to captain book so once you change it to captain book you can use captain book um okay let's say medium then reduce the font to maybe seven then make sure it is centralized all right then place it that's if you have address to put if you don't have address you can put other informations there if you wish anyhow you want it to be now i'm going to bring in this one and um i'm going to just put it here all right so uh the next thing we're going to do is change this to captain book but we're going to select the captain book the bold one give it um black color or let's give it this color reduce it bring it over here then break it apart once you break it apart you bring this one okay let's so that this will be selected then bring this one here, scale this up, then scale this one also, make sure they are equal to each other, scale this one up, then basically you can put the line here to demarcate this, alright, so this is basically what you're going to have, so the next thing we're going to do every Thursday, this Thursdays, is it Thursdays in June? So you can just use this concept and um, explore it. So make sure this is aligned to this over here. All right, so we're gonna just take this one up this way. 
and leave that there so if you have inquiries like you can type in uh, um maybe plus two three four or let's say zero nine zero four five six seven eight nine ten all right copy it that's if you have a phone number to put i just copy if i just type right up phone number if you like go and call it so now one of us flip does this way place it over here come over to this and type for info and uh, i'm gonna just put that just little as that little as that and um leave that that so we're gonna just give this one a black color and we're gonna delete this one and basically scale this one down a bit and um bring this one down here to start from this prayers and basically guys this is how we design this church flyer in corridor if you have any question please drop me a comment in the comment section below and see you guys in my next video